Hi, welcome to the hangar. Uh, it's a pretty rainy day out there. You can probably hear a bit of it uh, landing on the tin roof. Um, today we're uh, doing a engine mount change on uh, the Aztec uh, for the rubber shock mounts. Um, they haven't reached their 500 hour normal expected service life. Um, they're about 100 hours off of that, but uh, they have aged to the point where they've, um, they're no longer providing the dampening uh, that's necessary. So we're going to be changing those and uh, toolbox here we got a uh, brand new set of uh, berry mounts. That was uh, got those from uh, got local aircraft pro parts provider Kdex so we're going to go ahead and get these all installed in here so that we get the proper um, protection and vibration dampening on the uh, on the engine. So this is something you definitely want to have a good look at uh, during your periodic inspections or 100 hour inspections on the aircraft and take a good look make sure that uh, that those mounts are still in good condition. What you'll be able to see um, is as we come over here um, the, the, the mounts here at the top you can you can see how compressed these have become and now this rear mount here is 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 actually got a gap, um, and 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 it's no longer providing any any shock absorbing. So um, these engines are cantilevered. They're mounted right at the back here. You got a great big massive engine hanging here. They're about 550 pounds, give or take, uh, weight, and then about a 75 pound propeller that normally hangs on the front, and uh, and that obviously. Uh, is a lot of weight. So if I just come over and grab the trouble light Might be able to show you really well here Yeah, you can kind of see the gap There we go. You can see the light right through there. So that's what we're going to be replacing today. These great packs at Oshkosh just a little while ago really fantastic for protecting your tools. It's funny that I said they're for protecting my tools. I guess that's the mechanic in me. They're for protecting the airplane, really. To keep your tools organized. Okay, following along with our instructions provided uh, in the service manual for the airplane, we've uh, loosened the top two mounts, we've removed the bolts on the rear far enough to get the mounts out, and then we've picked the front of the engine up just to provide us with some uh, space, as you can see there, because obviously that would be, uh, that was being held tight against the, uh, the, the, the frame. So we've just used a rope around the front, and a little bit of lashing on the crankshaft and that's just pulled the engine up for us nicely and then that'll give us the space that we need to get in there and and work and put that new mount in. Okay all the uh, new engine mounts are in, crane's gone, they're looking pretty sharp in here. See our lower ones down here, no gap now so uh, that'll be excellent. Looking forward to uh, seeing what a difference that makes in terms of vibration and everything. So following the maintenance manual, we've used torque wrench and applied the correct torque. Uh, in this instance, 34 to 42 foot-pounds of torque um, to hold those mounts correctly. And then like any maintenance you do, don't forget to double, triple check all your paperwork, make sure all of that's in order and is well um, recorded in your maintenance release. As we all know, it's the paperwork that keeps the airplanes flying. So. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you soon for some more flying and uh, maintenance.